Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Okay, okay. Hey. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. All right, here we go. And we are off. They got a new playground set up down here. Um, currently, there's nobody here but me, so that's a good thing. I'm getting a warning down here on my screen. It says, battery capacity not updated for... For something. Let's see what this means. Battery capacity not updated for extended period. Return to home and, and land promptly. Battery calibration required. Never seen that before. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and fly with it for now. As I was saying, I, I this is my first time at this park, so I, I don't want to... I don't want to go ripping around and hit something, maybe some lines or something. So we're just going to take a little cruise around and check it out. You know, I do, I, I love flying the Carbon FPV. It, it really is nice, but I have four kids and I work a lot. So, it, I mean, it comes down to convenience. I can charge these batteries up on the Avada and usually they'll discharge in about a week to I think around 60% maybe like three three uh, three lights on the battery but uh, they'll sit in that state for I mean f for as long as as you need really but uh, when I when I want to go fly it's usually spur of the moment when I get time I don't I don't hardly ever plan to go flying but uh yeah you can hook them batteries up to the charger on 60 percent and they'll charge up to a hundred percent in and it seems like about 20 minutes time so you know you you can't beat the reliability and the convenience of of uh of dji man it's just it's right there when you need it i can throw them on the charger get a 20 minute charge and they're all at a hundred percent and and i'm gone with the the carbon quad, you gotta go. Uh, you gotta hook. It. You can only charge two at a time, and it takes about 30 minutes to charge uh, the pair. So it's at least an hour. And then if you don't fly, you gotta fly because they do not self discharge. But uh, yeah, I really I really enjoy the convenience of the Avada. I don't know much about this cabin here, but it does look to be very old. I uh, I actually grew up in this town until I was about five years old, and I this cabin has been here ever since I can remember. You can tell it's pretty. It looks like it's made with uh, reclaimed reclaimed lumber. But yeah, I. I mean, flying carbon is, is, I mean, it's a blast. It's a lot more fast pace. You know, it, you can do a lot more with it. But the Avada with the, the prop ducks and the, the safety that comes with it, the, the confidence you have, per se, flying the Avada is just, it's unmatched. And I, I feel like I can take this thing anywhere. I've had it for about a year now. And... There hasn't been a time where I got the Avada out and I'm like, whoa, I, I don't know if I want to fly this here. I don't know if it's safe. I mean, you can you can do pretty much whatever you want with this thing as long as you don't fly over people. It's very safe and, and it all boils down to convenience. I just, I love the convenience of the Avada. Hey, this is a nice little playground they got put in here. Back when I was a kid, they had a, it was an all wooden playground. So it's definitely different uh, today in 2024 than it was in, say, 1990. Got a nice, nice pavilion here.
Yeah, the carbon, the carbon uh, FPV game, I, I love it, and I'm I plan on staying in it and, and trying to get better and doing doing what I need to 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 better my skills. But just for spur of the moment, you know, when you got time, going to fly, you really can't beat the Avada. All right, I think I'm gonna flip it into manual mode and uh, take a little ride around and see how see how it makes out. It is very wet out, so I gotta be careful. And I'm not used to flying sitting down, so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna put my camera angle at about 15%. I don't wanna go ripping. And we are off. got to be careful uh, in the winter time because it's very very difficult to see the branches There's a ball field over here. Let me go over here and check this field out real quick. I'll tell you guys, I can't wait till it warms up. I've been really, I haven't been flying near, nowhere near as much as I do in the, in the summer. It's just hard to get motivated and I've been having a lot of issues with my my blood pressure. I've been I've been to the doctor and uh, they set me up with this app where I check my blood pressure once a day. And the past three weeks, it's been at an average of uh, 145 over 90. So I haven't been feeling the greatest. Been dealing with a lot of uh, like dizziness. And uh, ringing in the ears, just is very unpleasant. So I haven't been doing a lot of flying, but I got big, ho I got high hopes, and uh, hopefully we can get it figured out. I may have to go on some uh, blood pressure medication, but uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, and uh, ringing in the ears, man! I've had ringing in my ears for it, it started just just after Thanksgiving, so. It's been a little bit. I've been I've been struggling, but I'm getting through. I definitely enjoy uh, all the live streams. I don't get to make it to all of them. I, I I don't have a lot of extra time, and I try to watch as many videos as I can. But I mean, you guys know how it is. There's only so many so many hours in the day, so you got really got to pick and choose. I mean, really, I don't really pick and choose. I just if something comes across my feed, I watch it. So, and I don't always comment, but I do watch a lot of content, and I I try to try to like everything I watch and comment when I can. But you know, I am very busy, unfortunately. All right, we're going to increase this camera angle a little bit. Go to about 22.
bring it down to about 19. Tell you it's cold out, cold out uh, in the middle of January, so I am flying in inside the car, and I don't normally sit, so this is a little out of my element. But uh, I think I'm doing okay, and I normally have a lanyard supporting the controller, but it's just sitting in my lap currently. Battery's at about forty percent. I don't know what that warning was in the beginning. Uh, Never hurt. I don't think I've ever seen a battery calibration uh, required. That is a new for me. All right, we're getting a battery level low. I want to bring it back over here. I don't like to really fly when it gets under under about 35, 40%. You do lose a lot of your of your uh, throttle response. And flying in manual mode, you really gotta be careful because when you get used to that that throttle response being a certain way, and and it decreases, it takes a, a little more a uh, little more juice to punch out of certain situations. So. Definitely be careful flying uh, under 40% with the Avada. Alright guys, we're going to bring it on over. I'm going to put another battery in.
I'm I'm really looking forward to the warmer weather. I'm not a winter person. But uh can't have spring and summer without the winter. We're at about 73% on the battery. Looking pretty good. I think I hear a helicopter or an airplane off to my left here. I believe it's an airplane. No, that's a helicopter. Shouldn't be any issue for me though. I'm flying pretty low to the ground. You hear it heading towards me though. There it is right there. Yeah guys, definitely be careful when you're flying because the helicopters, they, they come up on you quick. I heard it, and it was about, what, 20 seconds until I seen it. So, yeah, just be careful. I did put a video out um, when I was doing a hyperlapse, and I got into a little situation where I thought it was an airplane, but come to find out, it was a helicopter. But I didn't want to end my hyperlapse, so I kept it going, and then... By the time I realized it was a helicopter, it was about about uh, 10 seconds away from me. So they do come up on you quick. Just be ready to uh, take control and, and and get low and, and get out of their way because you definitely don't want to you don't want to have any issues with manned aircraft. Luckily, I was I was uh, I wasn't very far from myself. I was in line of sight, so. I made a few mistakes, you know, hit a, hit the wrong button, but uh, I just looked up and, and spotted the drone and just flew it back a uh, line of sight. So it turned out pretty good. Was able to go back up and finish my hyperlapse. It was about 250 photos in, so, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't fun, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do to uh, to stay safe and, and make way for those manned aircraft. going around here, you know, getting a feel for it. Not that I don't have a feel for it, but when you when you bounce around to different drones a lot, it, they all fly different, they all have their their different characteristics, so you got to be careful and uh, take your time and, and get back in the, get the feel back of uh, the drone you're flying. Like with the Avada, it it doesn't have as much power as a 5 inch so it requires more more stick movements to get the same reaction like if I'm if I'm uh, I've wrecked the, the carbon quad because of this reason whenever you come down and you wanna you wanna goose it up you gotta give it I'd say about a, a half a half inch of stick movement where with the FPV uh, the carbon quad it's just very, very, uh, very, very small corrections. And if you're not careful and you're, and you're going to fly under something or you get too low to the ground and you hit that throttle up, it can really, and there's so much power there, it'll really get you into a situation. So it's, it's a lot different flying the Avada compared to a carbon quad. A lot more movement required with the Avada than a carbon on the sticks that is but yeah 
I appreciate you guys watching. We're not doing anything big here today. We're just having a little fun, you know, relieving some stress, doing a little drone therapy. It definitely, uh, definitely helps take your mind off of, off of life's, uh, off of life's, you know, situations. So, yeah, I highly recommend anybody that that likes to have fun and, and maybe a little adrenaline rush, go get you a drone and uh, just have fun and be safe. And I tell you, you won't regret it. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.